Mm, what's up, guys? This is the Brave Woman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War. Let's play the Kingdom of Mysore. And, th and in this episode, we are attacking the city of Istanbul, which is very poorly guarded. There are some elements that can come in to reinforce, but they are incredibly weak. So let us assault this ancient city and bring it back into Muslim hands. And then we can uh, then take the step of kicking Russia out of the Balkans for good. Then we'll have, we'll have Bulgaria, we'll have pushed them out. Crimea will be open. Uh, Ukraine will be open. Lviv will be open. And suddenly, Russia's looking very exposed, especially if we can push forward and take, advance, and, uh, take control of key bridges during our advance. And we're also advancing in the north and in the east. It's just going pretty darn well. But before we go too crazy, let's take this city. So they are going to have reinforcements coming in. Most of them are artillery. The artillery might just set up when they come in rather than try and walk in, which would be ideal. So let's set up our guns. So we can send one Felain plus three units. Just three units of Israeli into each breach. Then we've got a Felahin unit and two units. They're going to go and try and secure the gatehouse and then push through the gate. Then our cavalry just split up, ready to take advantage of any uh, enemy reinforcements that are easy to, to ambush. Nope, looks like they're coming in from directly behind them. So while we get our artillery to go to work on the breach, these are guards, howitzers, Cossacks. I mean, ultimately, none of them are a, none of them are, are a problem. Although we may begin. Oh, hello. Team kills ahoy. But the idea is, I want to push this wing forward because ideally, if we can be up and over the walls and contesting this, the control of the city before the reinforcements come in, that's ideal. Two more volleys and we should be in. Ah, oh, one more volley. Two more volleys still. We're going to be exposed and at the mercy of the mortars for a little while longer. So they're going after this unit. Comes their militia. See, they're trying to push out of the city to their credit. When you men reload, you aren't even all firing your guns. Same with you guys. Nope. See, there, I don't know why. They literally just shot at my own. Like, why have they decided to do that? Why did they try and shoot at the artillery, but they can't see them, so they shot at the back of my guys? It's the darndest thing. Elahim. Get ready. These three units. Get ready. Eighty-six percent. It's really weird. They would decided just to do this. Make this unilateral decision to just shoot it something completely random. Alain, get them over by the gate. There we go, 
So now all my guns get to work on that breach. Belaheen, in you go. general up here. Get the cavalry up here. But dearly, you guys will push there. This is really unit. Get into the wall. You get in. You men engage that militia. Good. We've started work on the other breach. You guys... Advance and make ready. Um, fairly sure they are shooting at the wrong thing because they do have an angle. Like that. You guys, I'm not sure what you're trying to do. You've done nothing but succeed in ruining this assault because now no one's getting up. And that's not ideal. Come on, Israeli, run through. Don't get involved in the chug. The which unit was this? This is the the middle 24 pounder unit. Yeah, they're still going. Okay, you men, that. That unit's going to be disbanded for disobedience. Run. Just run out. Don't get involved. Because, yeah, by dismantling it, by destroying this, it's actually knocked down our all um, stakes apart from one. Okay, then you guys form up to shoot at the square. The cavalry just push through. The cavalry just push through. You're not. They, they formed a square, and we're not interested in fighting their square. Just keep running. My cavalry can fight their cavalry. That's what I want. You men get into there. You guys push forward and attack the mortars. See, my artillery is already attacking what's inside the city again. Which is entirely not what I want. Artillery, this match is misbehaving. Send one unit to secure the gate. There's no point in doing anything else. You may wait your turn. You had orders to attack the mortars, but you are electing to run into a weird formation. Attack them. Yeah, we're having to run through the breach to try to get up here now because these guys are stuck, seemingly. Just keep up the pressure. It's my Philean over here. How are they doing? They're still doing okay. Cossacks are coming back. Kill the last two cavalry. You men go after the mortars. Here comes the uh, reinforcements. Don't know what the hell you got stuck on.
yeah, they appear to be stuck up there, which is pretty lame. Ooh, quick line. Is that more to cruise themselves? Oh, that's the 12 pound of how it's a foot. Let's get some musketeers up onto the walls. Try and slow down the enemy advance. That's right, get out of the combat. Soon we'll have taken this gatehouse. Be able to these guys to secure this gatehouse, then they're going to run over here and secure this one. So Pahi go for the horse grenadier guards. One of my unit of Israeli is broken. It'd be real nice if my artillery wasn't effectively sabotaging me. killed their general but we have not yet secured this gate there we go and now all of you men can pour in all of this cavalry can pour in so you might stay there this unit will go after this gate because you can take position on the wall and fire down if anyone makes it along here. That's right, you're going the right way now. in. No, you guys get back because you've now stopped the cap. Get men over to the wall, over to the gate, preemptively. it through. Cossack infantry. Two units. Looks like though that the enemies that were trying to reinforce, well the enemies that were defending the breach have been defeated. If you guys could man the fire step, that'd be great because you could shoot at them, but you are electing not to, which is super helpful. There you go, fire will on again. No, oh, doesn't matter. God, Empire. Empire's being really, really lame this battle. I have no idea why my artillery was going so rogue. Normally, okay, actually, yes, let's get you guys onto Army the boat. So then when I do that, they won't call in the re my reinforcing army. We'll kill them. Now Istanbul is taken, and what we can do is get repairing. Get replenishing. New men go for Crimea. Demand the surrender of the city. And then push to the river. Let's see if we can lure you in. Rashupchin? You're not ready to get over here yet. Yep, they're unhappy. But I'm counting on next turn bringing in uh, another 
another force. Let's demolish these churches while we can. And the naval hospital. Uh, right. So what we need is you guys to attack Victor Maltrugina. Mal Mal Although, what I might try... See if we can take him out. Oh. Let's get ready to build a madrasa. Two madrasas. Actually, just the one madrasa. We need money now. We don't need money. Money would be good. Anyway, let's attack this force in the open field. Push them back northeast towards Moldavia. <clears throat> then we can mop up some of the forces near Transylvania. And then that area is pretty darn secure. We can continue advancing. We need to make sure we sort out what's going on in the Don as well. And over near Sweden. They've got some shenanigans at play over there. Anyway, let's... Drop my guns back here. Fire at whatever targets you choose. We want... Actually, no, you might... You Actually, you guys are going to... We're going to take this hill. Detachment of Hindu warriors. Backed up by two melee units. They're going to storm and take the, uh, the top. We've got another force that's going to control the, f the uh, flat ground with two Islamic swordsmen. Mercenaries hold the right. Let's combine our mounted elements together with the general. Good. So. What we want is something like this. No, not shift click. Just a proper click. Then give our heavy guns time to set up on the hill. Well, the you are going to advance straight at them. Straight at the enemy guns. Mercenaries have been left behind, but the right flank is going to be wrapped around anyway. Get up and over. There's a bashy fire at will off. Although they may push towards the enemy. Fire at will on, so they won't kill any of my sipahi. Their guns aren't firing because they're bugged. Simonevsky Guard. I'm going to try. There's a hill in the way. They've got a few. So all my Hindu musketeers can form square, so even though the cavalry are charging, I don't care. You know, they're engaging us at short range with short range canister shot. So my Sapahi against the General's Bodyguard. So my General's Bodyguard up to begin shooting and otherwise upsetting the enemy. The e men get out of square because the Gurkhas are here to help. Yeah, they're particularly interested in this unit. Because now they're out of square, they're charging again. And I'm going to let you think it's safe. Ignore the cavalry combat. The 
Gurkhas and the Islamic Warriors will make sure this is safe. The guns up on the hill can engage or begin engaging. Engage the general's bodyguard. There we go, we've sliced and diced the dragoons. You men the melee infantry push onto the household cavalry. My musket troops just storm straight past. Got two good units of melee troops engaging a bogged down household cavalry unit. Yep, you men ignore them, you have your orders. Okay, all my, my guns are engaging. Including the great guns, and now it's causing we're getting a lot of broken enemy units. Hindu musketeers, Hindu musketeers charge this infantry unit because this unit is going to charge them in the rear. So they're going to turn around, face this Hindu musketeer unit. And these guys are going to get a good charge off. How about you? And my mercenaries are going to join in as well. Kizobashi, run over here, then over here. Fire it will off, because we want to try and kill some enemy units after all. Get my Ahadi over here as well. New men form up to fire blast musket fire into the 19th, into the 9th. Retarget my artillery. They hit the 6th. because the morale hadn't really recovered. Although now it has, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, keep pushing up the line. Pull back my cavalry. Get my Hadi to try break sixth. There you go. Both of you guys go after that regiment. Enemy cavalry's done. Do you even go after the horse artillery? Pull back my general's bodyguard. Bring up my line. Retarget my artillery into the other foot guards. You're okay to not chase after them as well. The light cavalry should get them. Just divvy up my artillery. So you men go after that horse artillery, men. You guys go after the Cossack infantry. Oh, they're going to kind of... Okay, if you men run like this, you can try to catch some out.
Oh, my artillery. Oh, batteries fire. Yeah. Target. Kill that last. These last couple of infantrymen. The engineers have come back. Go get them, General. One last line infantryman. Pack him down. Got him. Shouldn't kill my general. Arrgh. Now those are the foot guards. That's a nice enemy force. Nice enemy unit to kill. Okay, as they're close enough, we will charge them. Just to make sure they don't kill my general. Although he's kind of safe back here. We'll carry on after the foot guards. Continue. So my hardy. Get the foot guards. And get... Cossack infantry, go for the engineers. Ceasefire artillery. I doubt the elephants are gonna do are gonna be fantastic in the pursue and destroy mission. But who knows? Three Cossacks. Here comes no Cossacks. Nice. That's a good victory. Push them across the river. Force them out of Bulgaria. Oh, no, oh, they're on the wrong side of the river. Okay, we all going to auto-resolve this force here. And we don't need either of these naval hospitals. We can begin to occupy them. So, Romelia, you will be happy once we destroy this university. You can repair the port, get it garrisoned. We'll keep the pleasure gardens. Why not? You guys, uh, you guys can't leave Sophia yet. But that's a whole lot of. Okay, we can theoretically push. So we can't attack them because they're the other side of the river. What we want to do is we want to form an impenetrable line. So when we bring these guys up, we will force them east. Two large armed forces of infantry, a bit of artillery. I think they're going to get chewed up. Yeah, the hope is we force them east, and that way, if we pushed onto the city, they might potentially run around us and retreat through into Bulgaria, which is weird, but that's what Empire does at times. So... I'm hoping this means that won't happen, because my guys can potentially intercept, because they still have movement points. So we're going to engage. Engage the enemy. Our oh, rain. Set up the artillery. Bada bing, bada boom. So they're mostly, in, they're an infantry army, so we're going to form up an infantry front line. And we're going to group our melee infantry as flanking elements. And my general too. So my artillery engage whomever they like. They're probably going to have to advance in two formations. Maybe 
team of three formations because you're going to have to try and push through the town. You can hear a bayonet charge already. You men may actually face off against the reinforcements. In which case, two of you guys can come into the town. And you guys just get ready to hold. Bring in my cavalry. My Kizobashi are very vulnerable. Mass, mass, mass. Push my melee infantry forward. Threaten their line. Everyone else get running. Artillery firing. Kind of. not how I planned on using my my art my um, infantry but I'm hoping by uh, focusing on them hard we can accommodate the losses you guys all gang up on the fourth give our infantry still some place to move Commit my, commit my cavalry into that fight. General's bodyguard and the regiment of horse. I definitely want some of that. Not too close. We kill that and enemy general. Seat musketeers in here. See warriors up here. Putting some volleys in. I might actually bring my general into the infantry unit from the rear because they might cause some. I mean, Russian units aren't bad in the melee. Well, there you go. The presence of my elephants has caused upset. I'm hoping I can break these guys quickly enough that my infantry, my line infantry, can just run straight through. Combatants even? I think not. Form our line. Push these two units. Come on, deploy somewhere. Okay, they've routed, so you men plus bikes for swordsmen. Get up out of the way. Let my line infantry do their job. Get my camels up and around the flank. You men just hold. Get my artillery to engage the reinforcements. As they can. Uh, I was hoping you guys would just book it. Because now we can actually form up our infantry line. We were going to let our infantry line do some work. Push my melee infantry towards their general. Push my elephants around their force. Okay, see musketeers, just reload and pour some shots into it. Oh, you're going to shoot at the gunners, that's fair enough. General's bodyguard is 
exposed. You men just quietly reload and pour fire. The general's bodyguard attempting a breakout. He's being fired upon. You can engage in combat if you like. You men form up. There goes the enemy general. Everyone focus on the 50th. Melee infantry. Get up here. There's only one last unit of infantry. They're being shot just like the rest. The dogs. So then this wing is going to get up here. Hindu musketeers fall back. Seek warriors, get ready. This is what you've trained for. You're going to charge them, you're going to charge them. Big warriors are going to also get in on this. Okay, let's get my camels and cavalry up. Doing some good. Let's force them to commit. Oops, neat. Right, yeah. Um, ah, so they broke. Hindu musketeers form up. See, warriors hold. Well, to be honest, I probably just want to spread these guys out into their full line. Okay. Hello, uh, camels. Go for the 19th regiment. Let's get a unit of pikemen up to help out. Okay, my troops need to start running. NATO War Auxiliary go after the 13th. The you men need to form up and start shooting. No, don't push in yet. Hold. Starting to wrap around the flank somewhat. The new fellas can storm up and secure the new battle line with help. There we go. Pikemen and camels should deal with this unit of infantry. You're going to have to charge. Commit to help your Native American brothers. Something like this. Dervishes get involved. Tapahi. Camels go for one unit of line infantry because you've got to go for something. You men go for the flank on the line infantry. Because their line infantry versus my Israeli, that's quite a good trade for them. Pikes and camels go for that unit. Islamic swordsmen charge the horse artillery crew. Oh, 
Oh god, we're standing eye to eye with them. Artillery, engage the 22nd. They need help. Hopefully we can knock out the 30th. 30th and the 13th. Come on, you men, reload. Point blank. Ah. Oh. Kindy Musketeers are ready to shoot. Islamic Swordsmen get over here to help my cavalry. There you go, they retreated in the face of massed musketry at point blank range. Okay, so you men form up. You guys are both going to form up. Okay, everyone, seek warrior, uh, seek musketeers. Everyone just form up and hold. So sometimes, nope. Something like this time it is just a good old sound bug. But yeah, so their infantry is quite good in the melee. Dervishes don't quite give them give the punch that you want. So you men just blast the bejesus out of the 31st. There's too many men for them to effectively counter. Actually, you're okay up here. You might... No, you won't. We're not going to fire over their heads. So everyone's pouring fire onto the 31st. The 16 is getting some, but less. But still enough to work. So the new men pivot, fire against them, get these Hindu musketeers in against the, the 42nd regiment. All my surplus infantry get involved in these melee combats. Okay, they're wavering, so both get involved against the 46th. Excellent. So the enemy are breaking. Get my elephants over here for a bit of morale. For some morale effects. They're upset because their general has recently fled. We sink for the last unit on the field, and there they go. Excellent. It wasn't a close victory. So we managed to defeat both of those units, destroy three and a half thousand of their men. Some good kills for my unit. There you go. They retreated the way we wanted them to. So you men replenish. You men advance. You men put Ayasi and or get ready to put Ayasi under siege. You men head east. You men head east as well. You men just push up into the. Oh, the, the my agents in the way. My agent's going to keep trying to kill these priests if we can't convert the population here at Sophia. You've all been moved. No, it's destroyed the seminary as well. Because you're going to be a problem. Still, con well, we can't. Con we're trying to convert the population here. We'll soon make it. We've got, still got Klausenberg under siege, which to be honest, I should probably just capture. We might even just auto resolve that because that's quite a weak army. Okay, let's get rid of both of these. Rebuild the settlement fortifications, replenish the army. You're holding. These are all my Polish reinforcements, but now they're going to cross the river. 
Your Majesty. You're still replenishing. You're recruiting one infantry unit for Adel this fellow. And you want a cavalry unit. So back here for you. So you've got that fort under Your siege. Majesty. You're replenishing. Your You're gonna put Corland under siege. Your Majesty. With support. They shouldn't My trigger us an attack. Agebaro. Otherwise they would have done it already. You're gonna raid this, and then you're going to hold in the, hold in the trees. Because what's the fourth like in here? Lots of cavalry and so on. I mean, I might auto-resolve that because they're all incredibly weak. You men hold, you men regroup in the fort before pushing on. Let's send this cavalry group to skirmish. Okay, they've got a decent sized force, so we want to get these both these armies back up to speed before pushing them in. Neither of these armies are full, that full of strength. So you men push up. Get back to Christiana. You keep... No, keep you there. Keep you nearby, just in case. We don't need... To... Oh, sorry, this is all quite clear, actually, so I probably don't want to be pushing everyone across. Let's probably take... Get a ship back here. Actually, let's have a look at Finland. Nothing. So I can take one army, load them up, deposit them off of the Finnish coast, and get back to Umia. Good, good, good. So Hanover is slowly coming around. We can even tax them now. Well, I wager. He still won't let us out. Minus seven. It's going to take some time. Although, that's why we have... Oh, you're building... You, you are the bones of a new army. I remember. Minus ten. They really hate us. The religious unrest definitely doesn't help. Okay, let's try and see if I can gather up a proper garrison army. Let's get some... Also, I don't think there's anything in the Mysore army that really helps with garrison bonus. Lots of stuff that can hide, the resistance to fatigue. And then it's hidden while walking. Nope. So, may as well just go for rubbish levy units. Okay, if you guys want to try it, we can go. I might... Uh, sometimes, I was about to say, it might even be worth parking ships here, but there's no real point. I mean, you might be worth doing. Because you can physically block them in Greenwich. Uh, third rates, don't really need. Lots of sloops. Okay. I think largely, that's everything we want to do this turn, because everyone's already moved. George has ceased to be rebels. I mean, I can't get you yet. Everyone else has largely moved up. Yeah, redeploying one of our armies to help better defend against the Russians. Redeploying one of our imams. Okay. 
Okay, Russia. How are you going to handle that drubbing you just got? Looks like they want to send in fragments. And that's over near Crimea. It's good a lot of their troops are heading westward because it means that our eastward expansion will be less likely to be contested. Troops pull back out of the north of Sweden, which is nice. Is that the garrison at Vilnius has just ran through us? Yeah, it looks like it. Big mistake, Buster. I'll pull back two armies, get one army into Vilnius, and then I'll take it. But this is why I'm so paranoid about front lines and battle lines. Because on the campaign map, it doesn't matter. If you leave a gap, they'll exploit it. And then all, we do, all the momentum and the... Oh, hello. All the incremental movement that you make just goes wrong because you suddenly need to pull back and re reform your lines and secure your territory it can be a real pain in the backside okay the port by Lviv um do I want to intercept Probably yes, because it will draw in the garrison force. Uh, however, looking at the time, it would probably be best if I start that with a new episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the continuing action against Russia. Cheers, everyone.